Welcome to the ATC-24 guide video. In this video, we'll be showing you how to fly an ATC-24 and the uh, associated radio comms. Thank you to Beast and MJ for being here. Very much appreciated. I didn't pay them. Uh, onwards we go. So first thing, when we get started, when you're hopping in your plane, you have your flight plan that's going to be posted. Uh, once you're ready to go, you have that flight plan posted, you can contact Tower for a radio check. Rock for delivery, Air Canada 6566, a radio check. Uh, Canada 6566, Rock for delivery, readability 5. So once you've done that, and uh, you've sorted out all your mic settings, and everything's nice and ready to go, you can contact Tower for your IFR clearance. Air Canada 6566, uh, IFR to Perth. Air Canada 6566, cleared IFR to Perth, via GPS direct, expect runway 18 right for departure. Climb and maintain 2,000 feet, expect flight level 30, two minutes after departure. Departure is with me, Squawk 6734. Cleared IFR to Perth National, via GPS direct, expect runway 18 right for departure, initial 2,000, climb maintain 3,000, three minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be with Tower, Squawk 6734. Air Canada 6566. Okay, so once you've gotten your IFR clearances uh, approved and you've got your squad code written down and everything ready to go, you can call your ground controller for pushback. And ground, Air Canada 6566, ready to push in gate 2. Air Canada 6566, right for ground, gate 2, push and start approved, face north. Face north, push and start approved, Air Canada 6566. So in the event that when you're working with tower and you don't know which way is north, south, or east or west, north is going to be 360, east is going to be 090, south is going to be 180, and west is going to be 270. In the event that he does tell you to tail left or right, that's just where your tail goes. So your tail is going to be pointing towards the left of where you are right now. So if I were to say tail left to beast right now, his tail would go over here. I was going to say tail right, his tail would go over here. So once you're done pushing back and uh, you're all ready to go and ready to start your taxi, you can call your tower and request your taxi clearance to the runway or holding point, depending on which one he gives you. Air Canada 6566, ready taxi. Air Canada 6566, taxi to holding point Bravo 7, runway 18 right, via Alpha, Alpha 6, and Bravo. Alpha, Alpha 6, Bravo, holding for Bravo 7 to runway 18 right, Air Canada 6566. Uh, when you receive your uh, tax clearances, again, you can grab a notepad and write down the taxiways as he gives them to you, and you can also reference the charts so you can already guess kind of where you're going before he gives you the clearance, just so you have an idea of what he's going to tell you, and when you better read back, you'll be able to do it quickly and not get in people's way. So once you've uh, gotten to your holding point and you're just short of the runway, you can contact your tower, and he will either give you a clearance to take off, or he will tell you to line up and wait in if he tells you to line up and wait, you can just line up on the runway and wait for him to give you a clearance. Do not contact him again. He will contact you. If he tells you to take off immediately, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just take off right then and there. Air Canada 6566, hold your short 18 right at Bravo 7. Uh, Canada 6566, runway 18 right, cleared for takeoff. Surface winds 330 at 10 knots, fly runway heading. Clear for takeoff, runway 18 right, fly runway heading. Air Canada 6566. Uh, Canada 6566, Chicago Center, radar contact established, climb flight level 30. Climb flight level 030, Air Canada 6566. Uh, Canada 6566, make a left turn heading 050. Left heading 050, Air Canada 6566. So only now, after we told you to turn left heading 050, can you change your heading. But before that, please make sure to fly that runway heading, or whichever heading he told you to fly. Uh, Canada 6566, resume mode navigation. Resume on navigation, Air Canada 6566. So when he tells you resume on navigation, you can fly whichever heading you would like to your destination. You can turn a bit, you can kind of just do whatever you want, except for go upside down and break rules. Air Canada 6566, contact SOTAF Center on 128.6. 128.6, over to SOTAF Center, Air Canada 6566. So yeah, once you've gotten that uh, clearance, you can switch VCs over to SOTAF Center, or in this case, St. Bartholomew. SOTAF Center, Air Canada 6566, with you at 3000, over to Perth. Air Canada 6566, SOTAF Center, continuous filed. Continuous filed, Air Canada 6566. So when you hear continuous filed from SOTAF Center, that's always good news for you, because that means you basically kind of get to fly your own heading and fly your own altitude as you wish. But sometimes they might give you a heading or a specific altitude they want you to fly, please follow that heading or altitude 
It's just mostly for traffic avoidance and making sure you have enough separation between you and other people. Uh, contact the 6566 contact Perth Center, 135.25. 135.25 to Perth, Air Canada, 6566. And so in this case, SOTAS Center told him to contact uh, Perth Center. So in this case, you would, once you get into that frequency, you would uh, check in with them and tell them your call sign and your heading and altitude. But if he asks you just to monitor Perth Center, that means you can just hop into the VC and they will contact you themselves. And Perth Center Air Canada 6566 with you at 3000, heading 030. Air Canada 6566, Perth Center, hello. Make a left turn heading 290, descend flight level 20. Left heading 290, down at 2000, Air Canada 6566. Uh, Canada 6566, speed at or below 210 knots, expect vectors for the ILS runway 11. Below 210 knots, expect uh, vectors for ILS 211. So whenever towers giving you instructions, whether it be speed, like altitude, or vectors heading anywhere, please follow that because it's most likely going to be very important that you don't end up cutting the line in front of someone else who got here before you, or, you know, just to keep enough separation between you and other aircraft, and it's just for general safety purposes and just so everyone gets down on the ground in one piece and not three. Uh, Canada 6566, right turn heading 360, descend flight level 10. Right heading 360, descend 10. Air Canada 6566. Air Canada 6566, five mile final, runway 11. Uh, Canada 6566, runway 11, clear to land, surface winds 150 at 9 knots. Yeah. Clear to land, running 11. Air Canada 6566. Good news, you've gotten your clearance to land. When you're kind of going down, uh, ready to land, you can look at the two poppies here. As you can see, Beast is doing a very good job of leading us in here at two red and two white. If you're too high, it'll be more than, it'll be three white or four white. If it's too low, it's going to be three red or th four red. Your goal is to be at two red, two white, which he's doing an exemplary job of doing right now. Exemplary. Exemplary. Uh, Canada 6566, welcome to Perth, vacate right when able. Right when able, Air Canada 6566. So congratulations, you're on the ground now, so when you tell you to vacate right when able, once you're at a reasonable speed where you can make the turn, you can just make a right turn, and once you get to this yellow line over here, make sure you get all the way fully past it, and make sure you don't have any bits of your uh, tail still hanging out on the runway, that would not be good. Are you Canada 6566 ready taxi? Uh, Canada 6566, taxi to holding point Echo. Taxi holding point Echo, Air Canada 6566. So once you're at this point, you're going to be holding short of an active runway. Do not cross this runway. Just don't do it until you get clearance from tower. Um, so usually best practice if the airport is busy, you can uh, wait for tower to call you. Or if you're really impatient, you can tell him that you're holding short, and maybe he will let you cross. Air Canada 6566, holding point Echo. Air Canada 6566, clear to cross from May 33, taxi to stand 1 via Delta. Clear cross 33, taxi to stand 1 via Delta, Air Canada 6566. Alright, so once you've made it to your gate, uh, you can shut down your engines. Uh, you do not need to contact Tower for requesting shutdown. That can be at your own discretion. Once you're here, you don't need to talk to Tower anymore unless you're doing another flight and you're requesting another IFR. Nope. Okay, well, that concludes this bit of the guide. Merry Christmas. You know how to do IFRs now. We will see you in the next video. Bye.